Well, Feed, which is a company I co-founded about seven years ago, um, was really started with a simple idea to use fashion and to use people's consumer purchasing to raise money and awareness for school feeding programs, which are things that get kids, especially in the developing world, into school and focused on their studies instead of thinking about hunger. So giving them a free school lunch so that they get to school and then they can focus on their studies. So Feed was actually co-founded as, as a business, so it's a, it's a for-profit company that you know, raises money by selling products and then takes some profit, obviously, for the company to keep running, but then gives most of the money away to international school feeding efforts. I then had this concept of connecting hunger and obesity and developed a program called The 30 Project that I spun out to be a separate organization. So now what I'm running is an organization outside, a, a non-profit organization, mm -hmm. that's looking at the connections and the long-term change with both hunger and obesity. When you travel in Africa especially, you see that about 80% of the farmers are women. And as a woman myself, I, it's, it's amazing to see how many women are really feeding the, the entire world. In Asia, the number is about 60% of farmers are women. And you know, when you think about it, even in our own societies, women do provide many of the meals for our households, making sure children have something to eat and their lunch is made and their dinner. So women really are the backbone of the food system. Unfortunately, still, at the highest levels of power, at the senior levels of government, the biggest companies, women still aren't equally represented, and I think it's really important to have young women be a powerful voice to make sure that all women really have a seat at the table.